We have been learning about how God speaks to us, but are you listening to God? Do you hear from Him? Communication works both ways. There's someone who gives the message and the other person receives the message to have a successful communication. It's important to listen to God as much as we talk and pray to God. Say it with me. Listen to God and obey. In today's story, in 1 Samuel chapters 1 through 3, there was a woman named Hannah. She was married to Elkanah and they wanted to have a child for a long time. Hannah prayed and prayed for many years, but she still didn't have a baby. Was God even listening to her? Every year, Hannah and Elkanah prayed, and Hannah promised God that if he allowed her to have a son, she would bring him to God's house to live and serve God for all his life. Hannah cried and prayed, telling God how she felt. The priest, Eli, said, May God give you what you have asked for. Would God give Hannah a son? God did give Hannah a son. She named him Samuel, which means asked of God. Hannah also kept her promise, giving Samuel to God for the rest of his life. When Samuel was about three years old, he went to live with Eli the priest so Samuel would learn how to serve God. How do you think Hannah felt when she gave her son to God? I would be very sad, but the Bible actually says that Hannah rejoiced in the Lord um, when she was doing this hard thing. She had joy because God had answered her prayer. Samuel lived with Eli and grew up as if he was one of Eli's sons. Eli's actual sons were supposed to serve God too, but they did not know or even love God. They did many sinful evil things. God saw what they were doing and so did Eli. But Eli didn't do anything to stop his sons from going their own way instead of God's way. However, Samuel chose to obey God's right ways. Day after day, Samuel worked in God's house and did his best to listen to Eli. When Samuel was a little older, Eli started to go blind. He could not do many of the things that he used to, so Samuel had to even do more work for him. One night, as uh, he laid in bed sleeping, suddenly Samuel heard a voice. Samuel, Samuel. Maybe it was Eli's voice who needed help. Here I am, Samuel said. He immediately got out of bed and ran over to Eli. Here I am, for you called me, Samuel said. I did not call you. Go back to sleep, Eli replied. Samuel obeyed. Then again, he heard a voice. Samuel. Once again, Samuel got out of bed and went to Eli. Here I am, for you have called me. Samuel, I did not call you. Go back to bed, Eli replied. This was getting confusing. Samuel was back in bed when he heard someone calling his name again. What was going on? Maybe this time it really was Eli. So Samuel got up and went to Eli's bedside for the third time. This time Eli said, go lie down. And if he calls you, say, speak Lord for your servant hears. What did this mean? Who was calling Samuel? It was God. God wanted Samuel to learn to recognize his voice and listen to him. When God called Samuel again, Samuel answered. God gave Samuel a very important but sad message to deliver to Eli. Samuel got up that morning and went to work. He knew he had to deliver God's message to Eli, but he was kind of afraid. The message God had given was not a happy message. It was a warning. Eli woke up that morning and was anxious to hear what God had told Samuel. He went to Samuel and said, what did God tell you? Don't hide anything from me. I need to know. I want to know everything, good or bad. It was hard for Samuel, but he obeyed and told Eli the message. God told Samuel that Eli's sons would die because they were sinning against him. God helped Samuel listen and obey even though it was hard. Samuel grew up and the Lord was with him. He heard God's messages more and more and he delivered them to God's people. Soon, they all knew that Samuel was chosen by God to hear his commands and deliver his message. Samuel delivered God's messages to the people throughout his whole life. He knew it was important to listen to God and obey. Most of us don't hear God's audible voice like Samuel did. Instead, God gives us his message through his word, the Bible. God's Holy Spirit also helps you to understand what he says in the Bible and what he wants you to do. 
Sometimes it is hard to know what to do in difficult situations. Maybe a friend wants you to watch a movie or play a video game that is not honoring God. You know it would be wrong to do what your friend asks you to do, but you also don't want to hurt your friend's feelings. God's word and the Holy Spirit will help you to say no in a kind way. God speaks to you through the Bible and the Holy Spirit helps you to understand how God wants you to change to be more like Jesus. Will you listen and obey?